1,000 years ago, the English language didn't put spaces between its words. When it comes to conveying ideas, space is pretty important. Um, no, not that kind of space. I'm talking about something closer to home. I'm talking about the spaces we see in the pages of a book and on the screens of our computers. We take them for granted. But imagine this. 1,000 years ago, the English language didn't put spaces between its words. It made writing faster, but readers had to guess where each word began on the page. Talk about a headache. Fortunately, modern English uses more punctuation and is much easier to read. Spaces between words aren't the only spaces we see when reading. Have you ever noticed a big space before the first word in a paragraph? We call this big space an indent. Just as spaces help our eyes see where each word begins, indents tell readers where each new paragraph begins. When writing, regular spaces can be added by hitting the space bar. While it might seem like indents are created by hitting the space bar several times, it's not a good idea. You might put three spaces at the start of one paragraph and five at the start of another. This will make your page look crooked. Or worse, your computer might think you made a mistake and get rid of the spaces. That means no more indent. Instead, indents are added by hitting the tab key. One press and your cursor leaps way over there, pushing the text with it. These spaces are always the same size keeping your indents nice and even. But that's not the only thing the tab key does. You can also press it to move from one box to another when filling out forms on the internet. You might have noticed that the tab key is a smaller key than the spacebar. The spacebar is big and easy to reach because you will use it more than the tab key, not because of the sizes of the spaces they each make. So remember, even though we'll often add one small space when writing, we'll still sometimes find ourselves needing one giant tab.